didn't think I forgot about Let's Plays, did you? Of course not. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Pennsylvania. Here at Farm Sim 19. Today, we're back on Bucks County, and we have a little bit of work to do, as we always do. First things first, we need to make our way over to the main farm. Currently, we have got the case, uh, what is this, the uh, Maxim something Puma? There you go. Uh, we've got a case Puma. This belongs to the Goham Co., so the company that we use for doing all of the contracting and things like that on the map. Well, did you know? <laughs> I got the sign. We own it, so we can do whatever we want. And I need a fertilizer, and currently, I don't actually think I have a fertilizer for the main farm. And we have tons and tons to get done. So we're gonna use this on there, nice and easy. But before we do that, we have a field to harvest because as you may see from the top, if you remember from the last video, we had a lot more money than that. I have went and I have invested in a new field. We've bought field 14, the pig farm, as all places, the pig farm. We purchased that. We got a little bit of cash left over and I'm gonna be waiting, kind of holding off until we get into maybe winter, something like that, before we finish buying that entire area. Because there's two more fields over there. We're going to take both of them. We're going to flip them. And we are going to, well, we might flip them. We'll see what happens. But we're going to take both of those fields and we're going to uh, buy them. It will be ours. But until then, let's go and park this up right here. This is going to be these fields right here. The soybeans. We've got soybeans in two of our fields. As you can see here, field 14. We now own it. We don't own 13 and 12 yet, but eventually we will. We'll cut a uh, hole straight through right there, and we'll be good. That's not, that's not, this is it. Yeah! Y'all ready to harvest a little bit? Me too. Let's get to work. Let's jump in here. Let's cut our own. Let's make sure, let's see, do this, unfold, make sure everything's good. Yes, yes, yes. Enable straw swath, because we are going to be taking straw from this field. And we're going to be using it as canola straw because this is canola. And then we're going to come in right behind it and we're going to plant in... Oh, what is all that? That is a different crop. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what crop that is, but that is definitely not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's a, that's a rock. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come through here. We're going to run a couple headlands. We're going to try and get this field completely done up. As you can see, we are using the New Holland equipment because this is a field that we own now. Except for when I need things that they don't own yet. There you go. All right. Let's get this all taken care of. And just like that, we are all done. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and purge that. Do it one more time. There we go. Open, close, open, close. That way, whenever you get it out of your combine, I've noticed, whenever you're doing straw or anything like that, you get out of your combine, and all of a sudden, it just goes boosh and just shoots a bunch of straw out the back. Whenever you bump over to it, I'm like, well, that's it's supposed to be empty. So what I do is I disable straw swath and then re-enable it and then disable it and re-enable it just to make sure everything is out of there because the combine still reads as they're being a little bit in there uh we don't have a tip or anything down here yikes so what did i st oh crash counter plus one <laughs> yeah okay i see what it is i got stopped on the rock we're gonna hide objects with that later on yes we will all right so one bit down and we have a couple more things to go first we need to bail all of that up and then we're just gonna sell it nice and easy then we gotta come over here and uh actually we gotta oh we gotta like lime and fertilize that whole field too Ugh, i don't even want to do any of that uh and then over here actually this is the fun part we can go ahead and put the header down because this is its new home just like that and we'll pull our combine in there it's gonna be fun man i'm so excited about this if you missed the last episode where i built all of this up you gotta go check it out because i had a blast building all that up we even got an f-350 on here now we've got a couple of uh, new trailers uh, i did remove two of the trees or maybe three of the trees that were down here as well they just cause problems when coming through trying to combine and it's super annoying so i was like you know what i'm just gonna pull them up and be done with it also yeah i know the 
Leave me alone. I just remembered that there's this silo on the other farm. Leave me be. All right, let's put this right here. Let's... There we go. Not too much. I think we got about 20 or 32, 33,000 liters of canola. So actually not too crazy much, but yeah, that's going to put us up high. 294,000 liters of canola. And when you're selling that for $3,000 plus, you do pretty darn good. Pretty darn good indeed. Okay, so we've got this. We're good here. Let's go and put this away. Let's make ourselves some canola straw bales. Surprisingly to most of you guys, I'm actually using like a baler instead of just something crazy. I decided, I was like, you know what? And I'm just gonna use a baler. To, to be fair, uh, it goes super fast. <laughs> and I think the bales are 10,000 liters. That's what it looks like. I, I think I modified this specific baler just for this map's gameplay. Yeah, 10,000 liter bales, so we'll have a few of them. Uh, oh, we are going really, really fast. It's so fast that it's super jittery. And, oh, it is a whole lot of fun for sure. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get all of this done because I know you guys don't want to sit here and just watch me bail the whole time. So I'm going to get as much of this done and as fast as I can so that we can get all this up because we still have to come through. We still need to put the disc arrow on here, which is going to be easy. We've got a big tractor for that. And we still have the disc arrow set aside. So we've got all that. And then well, all we got to do then is put a little lime on the field and a little bit of seed and a little bit of fertilizer. And then we're ready to go. Oh, yeah. The last bit today is actually going to be kind of fun. And we might have to do the last thing that we were going to do for today. We might actually have to do that. Well, after we do this, there's a reason for that. Because this door goes nowhere, right? As you know, in here, you've got the combine in there. We've got these big doors. And these, well, these are easy. This one's not. It doesn't go anywhere. I want it to go somewhere. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut, like, this tree down. Can I use the object hider with this? I can. So we'll just, like, use the object hider, cut that tree, and then create a pathway all the way through, all the way to over here. So... Some of that area will be a field. Some of this area will not be a field. So this will connect to here. We use the same setup between dirt, grass, and gravel. And then you've got part of a field down at the bottom. You'll have part of a field up at the top. But there'll be a way to get back and forth between the two places without having to go all the way down. I don't know. I just think it's neat. I'm trying to do different things. Things that are not... Normal, I think, is the word to use here. I'm not quite sure if normal is the right word to use or not, but I'm trying to do things that is like, oh, I haven't really thought about that. Kind of getting back to our roots of doing fun and crazy things all the time where, you know, yes, we we're farming and we had a good time, but, you know, we were doing other stuff as well. We weren't just farming, repeating, farming, repeating. I'm trying to do some cool stuff, building the farm up, doing things like that also want to still do some things with Spectacle Island. So it may be another week or two, but hopefully we get back on Spectacle Island. I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right, speaking of fun, it's probably no fun watching me <laughs> bail all this up. So let's do this as quick as we can. Best driver in farm sim. You know, as I'm making my way over with all these bells, by the way, we got 21 bells, meaning we got 2,100? 210,000, there we go. 210,000 liters of canola straw. We're coming down here to Eureka Farms to drop everything off. Um, I realized why there was no fertilizer set up for me at the main farm so that I could fertilize the fields. I forgot, with precision farming, you don't need... Ooh, 72,000, not bad. Uh, you don't need fertilizer for soybeans. It's kind of like a crop refresher type of thing. So you don't need it um, and that's why i didn't have anything down there <laughs> so anyway so now now you know if you didn't already know uh so we've got this bad boy we're going to take this back i've already got the t8 set up with our disc arrow. i'm just going to go ahead and go through and go ahead and disc arrow up the entire thing and then and then i'm going to come through because the ground's going to go with the last state and i just want to get it all done up and be done with it at that point but we get to do a little bit of uh, landscaping which i always thoroughly enjoy we're gonna do a little bit of landscaping we're gonna take that building 
and make it go over to the pig farm. Very exciting stuff. I'm really, really enjoying back, being back on the series. We've been away for, I think at the time of recording this, between two and three weeks, something like that. Um, a lot of, oh, wrong turn. A lot of mods have uh, come out since then and uh, a lot have been added to this game save that kind of makes it a little bit laggy. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Just enough to make it go chum, 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 all the way around. Uh, we actually haven't progressed any in like the past month plus on this map. It's a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> We've still got all of this stuff over here. I mean, we have a ton of equipment, absolute uh, ton of equipment, and we're going to add more. It's a little dangerous, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, this bad boy right here, this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite tractors in the game. And actually, it's been one of my favorite tractors since it first released back in 2000 or Farm Sim 21. Uh, I would have absolutely killed to be able to Farm Sim 21. What am I talking about? Farm Sim 15. Uh, I would have killed to have this thing right here, but uh, unfortunately, I couldn't afford it. Not at all. Uh, me and Farm Sim 15 did not get along very well because I didn't know what in the world I was doing. Speaking of don't know what I'm doing, why am I going 12 miles an hour? There we go. Uh, I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> back then. But fortunately for me, I think now we're doing all good. Speaking of doing all good, let's let's double check and see if there's nothing else. Does this have to be uh, plowed up? No, it does not. Okay, that makes me very, very happy. So the uh, the T8, if you guys don't know, was a new mod to the game. I, I say or new mod, new in farming simulator in 2015. I believe came with tracks and that was the only way you could buy it then in farm sim uh, 17 as you know we got vehicle customization so you could actually go in and change things up if you don't know in farm sim 15 as far as I can remember there was no customization you couldn't just go in and and make it look however you wanted to you actually had to do it a certain way it came with a specific engine and that's the one you had you couldn't change up the wheel setups either so if you wanted a specific setup, you just had to deal with it. Well, and Farm Sim 17 came around, and uh, the ability to make more money and cheat things in and that type of thing, especially for console players. Um, that was it. Oh. So we made 22 bells. <laughs> of course we did. Why would we have not made 22 bells? Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm just going to take this over to the main farm. Um, so the T8 has always been slightly elusive to me. And I'm just happy to have it. I don't know. I think that's what I was getting at. It was a long tangent to say I like the new Holland T8. It was worth it. Oh, it was real worth it. Yikes. So we are ready to get some work done. I've already went over there and we've put down lime on the field. So the entire field has been limed. We probably paid for more than we needed to. <laughs> Maybe the uh, the answer to use there, probably more than we actually needed to. But you know what? I think it's going to be fine. But here is the idea. So you would drive through here. And we'll go ahead and turn that off there. You would come through here. Open this up and then continue driving. So I think what we need to do is maybe take out that tree there and this one here. Now, if you are on PC, you could use the objects hider mod. Simply just walk up to the tree and face directly at it and hit H and then, well, it's gone, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, I think that's probably good. We may have to place down a few other things. This tree right here might not be the tree I want here. So we'll go ahead and take this for now. This may even be one that I placed down originally. So we've got that. Now we need to do a few things here, like bringing this ground up near this. And we're going to bring it up as well, just kind of out a little bit. That way we can use that to smooth it out. Smooth it out. Then I'm going to take my brush strength, and we are literally going to crank this thing to the max up to three so it's going to fall very quickly, as you can see through there. Let's see, that's probably good right there. And then all we have to do is aim for where we want to go. And I want to go right between here, 
over by the trees. So what I'm doing is I'm actually smoothening the ground out through here. That way the ground is nice and smooth for us whenever we need to get to right here. Bloop, just like so. Um, I don't, I don't like that this is still here at all. Can I, can I move that? Can we go over there and move that? Can I? It doesn't have collision, so I don't think that I can do like an object hider. Yeah. Yeah, I would have to actually go in and edit the i3d file. So, looks like we're going to be... <laughs> that stinks, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, looks like we're going to be going that way a little bit. And then all of this could just be something else, and that's fine. Uh, a couple things. We'll come through, get rid of some of these bushes there. And we'll get rid of a few things there. Now, we could go through and paint. We're going to paint this a... Uh, I think we're going to do dirt. And then we're going to come through and put gravel over top of it. So what we could do is we can go to about right there. That's probably a little bit much. But I think it's probably fine. Let's go into dirt. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fine. We'll come through here. We'll draw this line. Like I said, I'm just going down the center because I'm actually going to run through... We're just going to paint uh, grass back over the rest of this. And then, choom, just like so, we'll cut in right there. I'll probably put another tree or two right here just so this bush doesn't look lonely, as it were. All right, so we use that there. So we need to try out a few things here for this. I think maybe a larger set. Yeah, or like right there. That's probably good. Uh, so it lets some of the dirt through, but most of it is this gravel going through. What we could do as well is we can draw in a little bit of... Uh, well, we can draw in some other stuff too, can't we? Yes, we can. So there's there. Cool beans. It's not too bad. Doesn't look awful. And then now, let's go through with a little bit of growing grass. Yeah, this is, this is the good stuff right here. Through there, there we go. That's, that's good. And then literally just going to go along the side. We're going to aim more towards the field than I am the ground because I don't want it to overpaint some of that dirt that's there. But also, well, I don't need a field all the way out to here, do we? No, we don't. So we can go ahead and paint in some of this as well. We haven't planted it yet, which is good. And here we go, just like so. And even through here, like... Yeah, we'll come through here and then probably like cut like right here and to curve in something like this. I think I think that's going to be the best thing to do overall right here. All right. So, yeah. Oh, that looks good. That's perfect. Uh, if you guys following along at home, honestly, this is kind of just use your own imagination for how you want to do this. But this is the way I'm going to do it. And I'm also going to place down a few trees right here as well. Uh, also, I've heard uh, quite a few of you guys saying, you know, oh, I wish I was as good as you are at doing uh, terrain forming and things like that. I stink, blah, 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 blah. You know, all you got to do is just do it and get comfortable at it. I think, uh, or I think clutch simulations a lot because without, oh, am I using the wrong grass through here? Did I use the wrong grass through all of that? Whatever, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think Clutch Simulation's a whole ton because without him, I would not be even halfway decent at doing this. But because of him and because of me and him doing our, like, uh, the what was it? The farm building competitions, things like that. Because we did those when this first released, I tell you what, it was so, so worth it. All right. So it looks like we've got super mega dark grass over here. Uh, I'm going to have to fill all this in. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That way you guys don't have to sit here and deal with me doing this. Oh, we already messed that up over there too, didn't we? I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of this. And then I'll check back in with you when it is done. And here is the final product. Uh, of course, I'm not the best. But I tried, you know. I tried to give it a little something. From above, I I don't know, maybe it looks fine, maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. Definitely the grass growing up around all this is going to help a ton. That's going to help a lot, just getting this grass a lot higher around the edges. We don't have any bushes, at least that I know of, but we do have a quick and easy way to get across now. 
And I got soybeans to put in the ground. And they ain't gonna wait. I love it, man. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at all of this. Yes, sir. So we've got a way in and out in between the two areas, which I am just super, super stoked for. We've got soybeans going in the ground. I mean, well, I don't really have anything to complain about, honestly. This is, this is great. Everything is working good. Everything is looking good here on the farm. Um, we are going to be doing a pretty big soybean harvest. I mean, you probably figured that out by now, but we're going to be doing a pretty big soybean harvest. And then we're going to be coming through and uh, we're going to be buying another combine. We're going to be buying a new hauling combine, as you know, or maybe not. Maybe you haven't seen the beginning of the series because it started a couple months ago. Um, maybe even as early as December. <laughs> I think we've been trying to do this series for a while now. Um, the one, one rule, if there is a rule, you could cheat, do whatever, it doesn't matter. You cannot sell equipment. So when you buy something, you have it forever. Not allowed to sell it. So we are going to be stuck and are stuck with literally anything that we buy. So we have to make sure we buy the uh, the correct thing the first time because we only have one chance to get it right. And I think before we end today, we should definitely take that bale and sell it. And uh, we should definitely figure out what we're going to be buying. What are we going to be buying? What is going to be our new hauling combine? So we're going to be getting it before long. As far as new hauling combines go, there's really not a lot of options. You got the CR-1090, and that's kind of it. <laughs> I mean, there are a few other options, and I would like to explore those before we take off. Of course, we do have the old new hauling for custom mining. However, that never released for all platforms, so that unfortunately is not an option. This could be the Revelation US series. Um, we've got a massive tank that we could put on the top, though we would mod that. We have different tire options through here, including uh, the big LSW. I don't know if those are 1400s or not, but we'll tell you the uh, CNH tracks, those are pretty sweet on here. Uh, Smart tracks look cool too, and Smart Track 2 looks pretty cool. We could, you know figure something out through there see i think we're using all michelin tires so we would have to stick to something through here the duels are a little bit heavy on the front i'm sure we could find something there um so i think maybe this would be a great option also you could do this in the store and it'd be really cool got a bunch of lights huge engine on the back uh there's there's just a lot that you could do there um is there any other new holland stuff that we've got in here. We're talking big combines here. I'm not talking about little combines, anything like that. Let's see, 587, 5,000. None of those are massive combines. You can see our 990. Now, do I have one of these already? I do not have one of these already. This is pretty nice as well. So this one's gonna have, see, 11,500 liter. You got the twin rotor. Uh, you can do a couple different grain tanks on here. We do have Michelin tires. And we can even run a, uh, see, I don't know why. Why it leans like that. But you got those. Another really cool thing. Check this out. We could come in here and we could give this like a, a really, really neat vibe going on. Let's see, design color. Well, I don't know what that's changing. We'll, we'll check that out later. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we could actually have two combines that match each other. That would be pretty sweet with the 990. Um, let's see, because we're using the 690 modded right now. That would be kind of neat to see. Is there anything else? There's not. So all of those combines are kind of our only options. And that's totally cool with me. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you've got any ideas of any mods or anything like that that you think I should download as far as new Holland combines go, let me know. I think I've got every combine mod installed, but maybe there's one I'm missing. There is. Hey, tell me. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Peace.